Like most endodontists, I was quick to embrace nickel titanium rotary instruments when they first came on the market some 20 years ago. There were very few options back then, and for me, the profile by Tulsa Dental was an easy choice. All endodontists know that nickel titanium is an amazing metal that has completely transformed endodontics as we know it, but also contains an inherent problem, shape memory, and stored energy that wants to unload and straighten around curvature. The smallest, longest, and most curved roots that we treat require a file system that can safely, efficiently, and consistently follow the canal to remove bacteria and biofilm. This anatomy is complicated, but the file choice is simple. Vortex Blue instrumentation. The extreme resistance to cyclic fatigue and incredible flexibility of the Vortex Blue files makes them the obvious choice for the most complicated anatomies. The reason I switched initially was because of their greater resistance to cyclic fatigue. But along the way, I found that their increased flexibility, their reduced shape memory, and their ease of use, especially in curved canals, have kept me a Vortex Blue believer. And with a substantial increase in torque strength and resistance to cyclic fatigue, I quickly gained the confidence to routinely and safely approach these severely curved canals that used to make me put down the rotary instruments and labor along with small hand files to avoid instrument separation. Now breakage is really no longer a relevant point of discussion. In my hands, the Vortex Blue files seem to flow effortlessly down a canal when used with a crown down technique. And then, with the shapes obtained, the obturation portion becomes easy. I can get a combination between speed, quality, and safe. Vortex Blue for me is great. If endodontics is part of your clinical practice and you're still using the same technology you were a decade ago, it's time to re-examine and re-evaluate the new advancements in file engineering.